only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, get a good look at it. There you go. Get a good look at that. You see it, right? Okay. Nice Supreme Court judges rule in favor of Obamacare. Ain't that just lovely, everybody? That's just lovely. This is a pretty good video. I think you might like it. I hope you do. I'm a little ticked right now. All the information coming out on the news channels. And Everything that's going on about this healthcare stuff. The end of this video, <clears throat> I got the robot. I'm gonna let you read. Uh, I was gonna read to you 13 reasons why it's unconstitutional. And I'm showing you this just so you can see the the page. There's a video and another video that come out this morning. It's just an advertisement so everybody can hit the link so you can go to it. Check out the links as well. Uh, of course, anything that's black or numbered, uh, except for the 13 reasons or whatever, uh, you know, are there for y'all to uh, go to. Click on the link, go to another link. Um, including the big ones there they'll take you to another page so uh, y'all please visit all that stuff the quicker we get the information out faster we can fight the faster the results of the fight will become we need to get this information out folks uh, we also need to get the information out about the Act of 1871. Uh, that's very important. Uh, on here, you can uh, check it out. Yeah, here it is, right here. Go to this one right here. Some of these links will take you to my page. Some of them will not. Oh, yeah. Gather that upside down flag, right? Do you believe me that we're in distress yet? Or y'all still won't sleep? The ones of you that are. I know there's some of the ones of you that are awake. There's some of you that aren't. This one right here is the newsroom, folks. They come out on HBO the other night. <clears throat> and, uh, this is an awesome video. He tells it just like it is. Need to watch it. This lady here, she pretty much tells it like it is too. And here you go about the act of uh, 1867 or 1871. Sorry, it's too many rules, laws, regulations involved with everything anymore to keep up with what's going on. What originated the problems? It's the Act of 1871. <clears throat> These videos are with that. And there's more stuff. You can go and check it all out. This guy talks about it too. There's links over to the right side, which I'm not showing you that. I'm just showing you the main part of the page. But over to the left or to the right side, you can go over there and click on links. Anything that goes with the NDAA. Uh, it goes down a long way, so y'all check it all out. Uh, we need to get the information out, folks. Much love to y'all. Heads up, and uh, you simply, you just simply aren't free. Focus on one. The Obama Care Individual Mandate is a direct tax, which is unconstitutional under Article One, Section Nine. No capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or enumeration herein before directed to be taken. 2. 
It violates states' rights since the federal government does not have the constitutional authority to take over health care as stated in the Tenth Amendment outlined in the Bill of Rights. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. 3. This mandate is involuntary servitude or slavery to the big banks and the insurance industries. The Thirteen Amendment states, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for a crime whereat the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States, or any place subject to their jurisdiction. For it benefits certain industries in a crony capitalist or a monopoly system is illegal in the Constitution under Article 1 Section 8. No preference shall be given by any regulation of commerce or revenue to the ports of one state over those of another, nor shall vessels bound to, or, from, one state, be obliged to enter, clear, or pay duties in another. Five. Justice Kagan is not supposed to hear this case because of conflict of interest. The reason is, she was part of drafting and passing the Affordable Health Care Act. I would recommend many state attorney generals invalidate the ruling from the High Court on the basis Justice Kagan did not recuse herself as the law prescribed. Six. The American people overwhelmingly reject the government taking over the health care industry. 7. This July 4th, we celebrate Independence Day breaking all political ties with the King of England because of taxes and government oppressing the colonist has written in the Declaration of Independence stating, he has erected a multitude of new offices and sent hither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. Get ready for IRS agents to come and collect unjust taxes trying to force us to pay for something we do not want. 8. The individual mandate is a tax imposed on us, just as the early colonists said in their grievance against the king stated again in the Declaration of Independence, for imposing taxes on us without our consent. We went from no taxation without representation to taxation without hesitation 235 years later Obama care was rammed down our throats without our consent. 9. Remember the Whiskey and Shays rebellions? The people will resist and revolt and pay for a tax they never consented to nor are not legally bound under the Constitution. The people back in our early history were the final check on government power. 10. The American people will be the final check on government power as stated again in the famous document signed by 56 people on July 4, 1776, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and to institute new government laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. 11. States can ignore the Supreme Court ruling under this landmark decision Prince Mac vs. Brady Bill victory for the Tenth Amendment with Justice Scalia giving the majority opinion writing saying the several states are not subject to federal direction reinforcing the Federalist Papers quote, the great innovation of this design was that our citizens would have two political capacities, one state and one federal each protected from incursion by the other with another Federalist quote, just as the separation and independence of the coordinate branches of the Federal Government serve to prevent the accumulation of excessive power in any one branch, the healthy balance of power between the states and the Federal Government will reduce the risk of tyranny and abuse from either front 12. States will reject implementing Obama care for the reason it costs too much. It will wreck the economies of already on the brink in many states hit hard by the economic depression. It will increase the number of people out of work. 
many states will balk. 13. This ruling will also give fuel to people running for state legislators. The people will demand the states to nullify Obama care with other draconian illegal federal incursions like the TSA with more intensity. This ruling might be the spark America needs to find within themselves to take their country back from socialist-controlled freaks. Firearms sales are rising to record levels. The reason is the people see the government as a threat to their safety and security. They do not see the phony enemy of radical Islam as a threat it was years ago. Al Qaeda is not groping people at the airport and forcing us to pay for health insurance. It is our own government. This ruling might be a blessing in disguise that could be the best thing to happen for America. This is a good reason more than ever to push back government inside the confines of the Constitution. Are you motivated to take back America? Just face facts. We can no longer sit on the sidelines being a spectator. We no choice but to push back or we will be slaves. I am no slave. Are you?